Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Get a lot of video questions either submitted through my iJot widget that's on live.perillo.com. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you can leave a video question for me using your webcam. And then some people follow up on YouTube, much like Coffeehouse Schmuck does for just about every one of my videos. And yes, I do see every one of those video responses that you're sending, you or anybody else, or well, I guess I'm talking to you who's watching this video right now. Uh, now, this particular uh, individual, Triumph1976, just stumbled on to the, my videos on YouTube and is asking a question. She submitted a video into her own account, and it has to do with formatting. Hi, Chris. Uh, this is Tri76. Don't know um, if you can hear her. You know, I subscribed to you, you know, a couple days ago, and I'm really enjoying because I am what they call a computer dummy. But I do know how to reformat. Now, good for your computer. I noticed on your video someone had put in there, you know, reformat every week. Okay, so let me stop you right there. Uh, the question, and I know she was very, very quiet because I was playing through my speakers, not directly into this microphone or directly into my computer. Uh, she was asking specifically about reformatting because when we were talking about something similar the other day, one of you guys or gals in the chat room mentioned I format every day or every week. And it was meant to be sarcastic when it was mentioned. Unfortunately, the way she read it is like, oh, is that guy serious? Uh, no, uh, it, that was a total sarcastic remark. Uh, you never want to be in a situation where you're having to reformat every week. That's like overkill. Um, now, when we talk about reformatting, specifically in relation to an operating system or a computer, we're talking about uh, kind of wiping the drive and reinstalling Windows freshly, like with you know, basically all these programs that I have installed and everything, uh, if I were to reformat my hard drive, it would wipe everything out and I would be able to start fresh with Windows as if I just bought the computer new. And when I say that, I mean without any kind of crapware or anything else. For the most part, um, you know, reformatting can be a good thing every once in a while. And when I say every once in a while, six months to a year. Um, is, is a good uh, timeline between reformats. Uh, more and more, I've become a lot less anal retentive about my desktop uh, over the years. I, I used to be really bad at it and I would reformat once every six months just to get rid of any kind of crap that I had installed that I uninstalled that I didn't want hanging around anymore that may have been doing something weird to my system. Uh, honestly, I've had Vista on here uh, for, gosh, well, quite a while, quite a few months. I guess I'm approaching the six month mark, if not longer, and I haven't felt the need to reformat at this point. Uh, I've, it's kind of crossed my mind, but then I'm thinking, eh, it's not worth the time. I've installed all this other stuff, and I just, you know, I'll just wait. Uh, it's not as big a deal for me anymore. Now, if I were to run into serious problems with the software on my system, then yeah, I would consider wiping the drive and reinstalling clean. You gotta be careful when it comes to reformatting, though. If you do not have your data and when I say that, I'm specifically talking about your documents, photos, um, movies, your my documents, everything that would normally sit in there. If you do not have that folder sitting on another drive or backed up to another device, you could be eliminating them forever. Like you'll never be able to get them back if they happen to be sitting on the same hard drive as your operating system or your primary operating system. And unfortunately, by default, Windows still stores the My Documents folder and the entire hierarchy on the same drive as the operating system. It's a fundamental mistake because they expect that people are going to think that, well, I'm just reinstalling Windows. I'm not necessarily wanting to reformat my drive. Then when they reformat, they realize it's all gone and then they get frustrated and call tech support and say, what the hell happened to my files? Well. The one thing that you can do is make sure that your My Documents are sitting on another drive that's installed in your system. If your system only has one hard drive, you could either partition that one drive into two, and we've done a video on that before. Go ahead and look for that. Or uh, it, you could you know, get an external hard drive and plug it in by Firewire or eSATA or possibly USB and make sure your documents sit on there. If you do have more than one drive on your system to change uh, the default My Documents settings, uh, just right click the My Documents icon or Documents icon, whether it's on your desktop or in your Start menu, go to Properties, and then flip over to the, I believe it's the short, well, no, that's the shortcut tab. Hang on. There's actually a location tab for the documents. I had a shortcut sitting on my desktop. 
Uh, customize location. There we go. Location. Go to the location tab in the properties for the documents or my documents folder and then choose move because by default, again, it's sitting in the users or user data directory. You can decide to move that folder to a completely different drive. In my case, I have Windows Vista installed to my C drive and I have my documents folder and everything, all my documents are sitting on my H drive. So at the point where I would want to wipe the drive and completely reinstall the operating system by reformatting the C drive, it's not going to touch the H drive. Reformatting uh, only affects one drive at a time and that is why it's important to keep your documents on a completely separate drive uh, than your default operating system so that when you do want to reinstall Windows and reformat your hard drive uh, then you can do it without having to worry about eliminating your documents, uh, pictures, videos, all your data that you had built up and saved over the years. And then of course I guess an ancillary tip is when you save files uh, or you you know you you create something make sure you save them to your my documents directory so they're in one location uh, and then you know then when you reinstall windows the only thing you really have to do is reinstall your programs and then set up all your default settings again and yeah it's that much of a pain in the neck and that's why I only recommend you do it maybe every six months or once a year even at that but definitely not once a week now uh, try 1976 goes on to say that she's having issues with some web pages rendering it's kind of slow or slower than what she would expect and she's asking well if it's possibly caused by spyware maybe uh, more than anything it's likely caused by uh, a web page that's overloaded with graphics video audio there's so many things flash everything is just trying to load at the same time and it's going to make the page rendering slow and of course if you've got a lot of these rich elements on a page sometimes when you scroll down the page will be herky-jerky because it's just there's so much the screen can't handle it because the browser sucks and that, that usually leads me to believe that you're using Internet Explorer you might consider switching to Firefox. I say that with a grain of salt, knowing that I use Maxton for my browser, which is based on Internet Explorer, but in Maxton 2, they're actually working on a new type of technology that will make Internet Explorer work more like Firefox does in terms of page rendering speed. I've tried it, I've used it, it does work. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the idea about formatting and some tips about how you can go about or why you would go about uh, reformatting. Um, you only do it just because you're having issues that you can't work around. Uh, you know, some, you installed some software on your system you can't seem to get rid of, uh, or that has hooks that screwed everything else up, and you can't figure out how to get around it. Now, before you go to reformat something, uh, if you're not sure, ask someone. You know, either leave another video response follow up for me uh, or anybody else who might be in your community. Uh, leave a comment, follow up, ask a question, submit an email. I see every question that gets asked, whether by video or text. If I don't respond, um, don't take that as a slight, it's just I get a lot of emails and I can't get through them all and I pick questions that I believe are on the minds of most users. Um, sometimes I get specific and sometimes I am more general with those particular answers. Uh, but you know, if, if you're needing help immediately, we have a chat room that's open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, unless of course it's leap year and well, we won't get into that right now. Uh, and of course, where's the chat room located? Everybody in the chat room, tell people where they can go because I don't want to say it again. I, re I really don't want to say it again. Chris.Prolo.com is my blog. Yes. Uh, did, it's a prison. Oh, God. Now, now the truth is getting out. Thanks, Vince. Uh, Live.Perillo.com.